what's my secret or a sort of magical solution to get either my mojo back or to be inspired and to create a new uh, art project? The answer to this question is in this video, so stay tuned. Welcome everybody, it's Sasha Marka here, Lemon Creation. And so, this is my very first tip for uh, starting your mojo back, for, uh, you know, getting over being stuck. I actually love to change formats in which I'm working. I am uh, basically art journaler. Sometimes I do something else, like, uh, I don't know, a kind of uh, sort of tags or uh, ATC cards. But I've noticed that if you find um, some format which is actually unusual, like this one, this is a book which is very small. I think it's more or less uh, roughly uh, uh, half of the A5 size. Something else happens, you know, you kind of like you open to new possibilities. There is a new format, something new, something um, which is completely not done by you before. And I know that at some point, you know, this. Um, these ideas, these uh, new things, they will run out probably, but you can always go back and come back to the things you haven't done for a while. And so this is one of, of my tip and I think it's a really a lifesaver for me. And if you watch my channel, you've noticed that I also do landscape pages. And people are doing tags, uh, crafters, art, artists are doing tags. I don't like tags very much. I don't like the cutted edges. I don't like the hole in the middle, but uh, I love landscape format. So right now I'm taking a A5 uh, piece of paper uh, and I'm cutting it in, you know, in the middle into two landscape uh, pages and I'm working on that. So I'm making kind of a long art journaling and this is also something which saved me because there was a time when I couldn't kind of work uh, anymore. I had a really uh, bad time, you know, with working and uh, like creating something, some new content and finding new ways, finding something interesting which could also interest you guys because that's why I'm also doing that, you know, doing the uh, um, videos. And, uh, you know, I just don't know, by accident, I think I cut the paper in a half and I said, okay, why don't I try that? And that's the case with the book. So I found this book, you know, I have this kind of sort of library when people are leaving the books and, you know, you can take them for free and then you can leave your books, which you don't use uh, anymore. And very often there are books which are old and nobody wants them and they are really of no value at all. But this one, I mean, I don't know what is it uh, actually. Uh, it is, there are like small sayings in the book in different languages. I don't really get the purpose of this book, but they are not even like that positive or anything so that you could think that it's a positive book, you know, uplifting and uh, all of that. It's not, I don't think anyway it is but i found the format so 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 nice so cute so small and i said to myself why not try to work on that and i was doubting myself i wasn't sure if i should actually take the book and finally i said okay let's go for it and we'll see because it's so unusual the format and so uh you know that's the third page i'm doing in one week and a half in this book and i actually cannot stop i absolutely love it let's come back to what's happening on the page. So I applied a layer of matte gel and I cut into a rectangles and squares um, pieces of the scrap paper. It's a mixed media or watercolor paper. And then I glue them together. So, you know, uh, I put also a, a matte gel on top of it. And without waiting, actually, to dry it, I uh, apply uh, infusions. That's the infusions, the powder. And now I'm adding a little bit of water so the infusions can uh, um, can run over the page. Well, I don't want it to cover completely the page. That's why, you know, I'm kind of uh, trying to uh, keep the splatter in the same place. And because uh, the matcher is not still dry, they will react also a tiny bit with the matcher. And that's also uh, one of the ideas for you to do. 
uh, try to apply a thing to the wet face like you know wet gesso or absorbent ground i've noticed that with absorbent ground if you apply powders they are actually running really nicely and you could see that in one of my videos the first page in this art journal uh, which is kind of yellowish uh, it looked really nice and uh, the matte gel didn't react so much but you always find a small differences depending on how well you dry or if you dry at all or how much powder you use how much water you use how uh, much you are gonna incline your book when or your art journal or your paper when you are drying it uh, the way you hold uh, your uh, heat gun um, all of those things they can change your project and so don't be afraid to experiment and when you are stuck experimenting is the best way to go just let yourself go and just do it and play with things and very often when you don't have the pressure like you know i have to make this project with these things with this focal point uh for this company for uh, this day that's when the real magic happens uh, for me i've noticed also i'm stressing very much when i have to do a um, either a project for a DT or a um, uh, project when actually I record. I've noticed I have a shaky hands now less and less, but uh, at the beginning it was just awful. And now when I'm letting myself go, when I don't think about the camera running or I just do something outside of the camera, which doesn't happen very often, but it happens that's where actually my best projects are coming to life also when you are using sprays or uh, very liquid uh, paints it's very nice to dab them with the tissue so always keep a tissue uh, at hand or a kitchen towel so if there is too much seepage you can just dab it quickly and also dabbing changes the color a little uh, make it a little bit brighter and uh, it's just um, control the flow of the paint on the page. Now I'm adding a little bit of stamping, mostly the parts with kind of a, you know, a dots, uh, just to add a little bit of uh, black because I wanted to um, lift up the parts which are now not that much visible, the collage parts. And so uh, like that, I can uh, achieve that uh, effect. I could have used also a little bit of uh, black paint or darker paint to just kind of let it flow or uh, beside the uh, collage parts uh, or just you know add some uh, shadowing with a pencil uh, but this is also one way of doing it and um, I don't as always I don't bother that much because that's what I like about the uh, projects I'm making I like just to be free without any like constraints uh, just let it go i love grungy i love messy a little bit of my on my pages and that's what i'm doing and so um, and just uh, remember that and this is also the reason why i'm um, working in uh, less and less uh, gt teams because uh, you know i like doing things my way <laughs> so uh, that's the that's the thing but still i am very um, uh, in love with paper art systems and this is one of it and i'm using my stamping platform to print this beautiful girl and uh, she is gonna be the focal point of my page my girl I'm gonna use a Derus glue adhesive to uh, glue it to the page because I'm gonna put it not actually on the tires but on the side a little bit and I bend a little bit her uh, wings I don't put any glue on the wings like that you know you get this impression that she kind of uses her wings to fly 
which is perfect. I, I think I never actually glue wings of any sort to the page. I always leave them a little bit lifted up. And so the sentiment will come from my really silly words, even though the girl have uh, uh, something written across her chest, wings to fly, uh, I told that it's not very uh, visible, so I added the sentiment to just finish the page. But before I do that, I actually am using my fine, li fine liner, uh, Unipin, to uh, add a little bit of contours to the uh, page. Uh, I like to kind of, watch. I don't know why, I feel like the page is whole, you know, that uh, framing it gives, uh, gives it more like importance to, to me, I don't know. And I also um, darken the edges of the uh, paper, of the sentiment, so like that it's uh, really black. Uh, when you take the pictures, especially, you know, from the side, mm, this is important to do, to do because like that it looks uh, a little bit better. But I don't always do that. Sometimes I just leave it be, but you know, sometimes uh, that's what I like to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Maybe you have also some other ideas on how to uh, unblock and uh, make flow your creative juices. Thank you so much for subscribing. Please hit the notification button to be uh, to be sure you are notified about my upcoming video upcoming videos. And please let me know uh, what kind of projects would you like me to do in the next projects. What kind of projects you like. I really would like some feedback from you because uh, I haven't really asked for that and I think it's a mistake. <laughs> so I'm trying to fix it now. Please let me know what would you like me to do. I'm sending you big, big, big hugs and uh, I really hope you're gonna create something beautiful. I'm sure you will. Uh, until the next time. Bye bye.